Josh. Uh, quick paddle out. It's deep enough that it didn't engage the drive, but I figured I'd just uh, paddle a little ways, get loosened up. Uh, what can I say? So I'm making this video because I decided that uh, everybody should know how nice this thing is. Uh, choosing between this and the Perception Escador Pilot 12 uh, to complement my native Slayer Propel 13. Uh, I like my Propel 13, Slayer Propel 13. Uh, it's just a bit cumbersome, uh, and I also want to go offshore uh, fishing in intercoastals, some of the offshore reefs down towards uh, Topsail, Carolina Beach, that area. Um, so I picked this up. Uh, so far it's only my third time out in it. Um, it paddles very nice. You can see right now I'm not really working very hard and moving along with a decent clip. Um, I actually have an app on my phone for speed today, but I didn't pull my phone out yet, so we'll get there. Um, very nice. We saw in the earlier in the video, I towed it down here on my sea tug, and no problems there. Unloaded it by myself. Um, it is a lot less cumbersome than the Slayer Propel 13. All right, it's been out here a couple minutes, just floating around, doing a little fishing. Not really fishing. Well, I guess I am fishing. I'm not actually catching anything. Um, one, because I don't know anything about this lake. Two, because I'm not a bass fisher. Said, I have a bait caster in my hand, so I'll fake it. Uh, back to the kayak. Um, fishing out of this thing is not bad from a seated position. It's got, you know, it's a little bit uh, twitchy on the rudder. Uh, you have to be careful. It does handle pretty well, but it also gets you turning the wrong way, so I find myself periodically stopping my reels to adjust my rudder, which is a comfort thing. Um, the Slayer Propel 13, obviously, yeah, that I have is a little bit slower, so things happen as quickly. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just what you're used to, I guess. Um, if anybody has any bass fishing tips, watched all the videos and all that. I've never been a bass fisherman. Uh, always fished for crappie and walleye and steelhead and things of that nature up north. This whole bass fishing in the south. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. But that said, I'm told that no matter when you throw a spinnerbait, you can always catch fish. I am proving that to be uh, wrong. Unfortunately for me. does take a minute after you've been going backwards when you're going forward to actually get going forward um, you get a little cavitation under the boat um, but I find that my feet placement might actually be the issue here uh, so in order to stand and fish from this boat I have rather big feet If I slap my seat all the way back, now I stand up, and I will have to pedal by hand from here because now I am nowhere near my pedals. Uh, it is a little better, maybe. I put the head cam on to show you guys uh, some of the things around the boat. Definitely lots of room in here. I, mean, I got six, eight inches on either side of me. Uh, no real issues um, with that. The standing, I'll show you again from my head just to see how wobbly. A little bit of movement. I mean, you're not going to fall over, but it's not... Uh, it's a little bit more worrisome. Nice cast, Junior. So, like I 
said, you can't stand and fish. Uh, it is possible if you're a bass fisherman in the north. So we'll turn into this wind and try and show you guys how it handles a little bit of chop today. I'm serious. Probably about a 10 mile an hour wind if I'm betting. Another wonderful thing that Native offers you is these massive scupper plugs. Um, they are in there very solidly, might I add. Uh, they're actually very difficult to remove, which is probably a good thing, especially if you're planning on putting a five-year-old in your boat. Um, the, in, the integrated paddle holder, that's nice. Um, I wish my Slayer came with that because I don't particularly care for uh, the way the uh, cam lock ones I have on that particular boat mount but this here I just I have my accent angler scout slide it in hold on the tab you're good to go um, that is a very nice feature I wish they had that on all their boats another thing I wish all their boats had including once again my slayer is a uh, transducer mount under the boat this particular model does have one um, right now I have a ram arm to mount my fish finder on my Slayer um, I'm not the fondest of that idea I'd prefer to have it set up with a place to put it underneath the boat I've seen some pretty ingenious uses of PVC and other devices one had a gripper plug it was pretty cool all right a little speed test to get a manta ray propel versus slayer propel just to get an idea of how they are Coming along now at about <laughs> three miles an hour you can see that about normal pace nothing crazy
time you can do as fast as we can go.